What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while with Pancake and the Triforce. I honestly, I know where I am right now. We're kind of on that island that's across the water with the Carnotars. And I found this little secret path, not really like a secret path I guess, but I found like this little lakeside path or this oceanside path that I think we can ride along. And I think it'll be scenic. We might find something interesting if we follow this back around. I'd like to chase down some chests today if we can, like some of the green ones since we're level 15. We're allowed to open green chests now, and that might actually help us jump along the tech line a little bit quicker. However, for right now, what I'm really, really, really interested in today is I want a scorpion. I want a scorpion very, very, very badly. It looks like a stegosaur is over there getting attacked by a bunch of dilophodons. Should I jump in? Should I be a good citizen here? Is there such a thing as being a good citizen in a prehistoric world? Because technically we're not even like a citizen of anything. We're just kind of like here. We're a bystander. Oh, it can't move because it's stuck in the trees. That actually happens really, really frequently. You know, I saw a raptor back here a little while ago when I was scouting for the episode. And I think that we should probably be careful. I think the Triforce could take it no problem. But ideally, the way that I'd like this to go down... Wow, it is like Dilophodon Central up in here. They are everywhere. That's a lot of Dilophodons. I don't know if I should kill them and get the XP for it and just kind of like take care of business. Wow, you got your ass whooped, dude. You got thrown way the hell over here. Watch this, now you're going to get bit by an herbivore too. Yeah, how do you feel right now? How do you feel right now? Not so fun being carnivorous now, is it? Uh, domination, getting erected. Alright, so since they're mate boosted, I don't know exactly what mate boosting does. I know it makes them better because mate boosted critters are way harder to kill. Like, I think when there was a mate boosted turtle, it took me like 35 rocks to knock him out. Whereas if it wasn't mate boosted, it only took me like one or two rocks. I'm sorry, it only took me like five to ten rocks and it wasn't that bad. For right now, we got a Dilophosaur over here. Let's go ahead and take these out real fast. I treat it like in an MMO, you farm stuff up. Oh, we also have a raptor over there. Guys, 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 I need you on this. I definitely need you on this, like right now. There you go, keep him off me. Got him. He doesn't seem like he's that tough, but damn, are they fast. Like, you've really you got to be able to stand your ground with him. How much HP does my poor... Okay, so he's still... i got to give Pancake a little bit more HP. I don't think I've been very kind to Pancake as far as the point allocations go. I've been putting them all into speed so that I can get around a little bit faster. I have no wood. Okay, so I figured I was going to have some kind of problem like this. There we go. Let's recraft that real fast. We managed to take out a raptor. I don't think they're that dangerous unless you're on foot, but being able to knock the little bastard out, I'm a tad confused as to how I'm going to knock one out. Like, I really don't want to hit one with rocks. Like, it seems like a bad plan. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Hold on. There we go. Catch you in the dome real fast. Yeah, you guys just spit all over him. Once you finish that one off, get that one too. I don't like it when there's predators around me. I like them to be killed off and taken care of. Pancake, what are you doing right now? Please stop doing dumb stuff. Okay, don't run around like that. It makes me nervous. I hate it when my pets run around randomly because then if I need to mount up. A raptor, from what I can tell, it only takes a raptor like three hits to kill me. Four hits, even with my armor on. And so, I'm kind of in a catch-22 right here because I have no way to knock the raptor out without the narco arrows. But B... I can't use my pets either because they'll kill it off faster. They, they, the raptor does not have that much HP. The raptor is not that tough of a combatant. However, I'm a little bit skeptical that I could knock one out with rocks before it gets to me. I mean, I could, like I said before, I actually, I don't know if I said this. So two options in front of us right now. I could park my critters on top of a hill here somewhere. Assuming that we're not missing one. Hey, prodigal child, where are you? Special child, get over here. Hey, you. Urgh. Why are my dinos so dumb? Why do they do these things to me? Why do they do these things to me? I'm gonna chop down some trees real fast because we need the wood anyways. I guess we can give it a go with the raptor. I'd like to park these guys in a safe spot, if at all possible, so that they don't get murdered by anything while I'm away. I don't see any green crates around because that's what I really, really wanted more than anything. I'm going to have you guys hang out right here. Let's scout out the location of a raptor first. I think there's a couple more. I think we killed off one or two, and then a stegosaurus killed one too. But there should be one around here somewhere. I think I have water on me. Yeah, at least a little bit anyways. Something to keep us going. I got tinto berries as well, so if we could throw those all in, that would be great. 
Keep ourselves regenerating for just a minute. Let's go have a look through the forest and see if we can find another raptor. Ideally, I'd like to be in a spot that has very good visibility so I can see it coming from like a mile away. B, I don't really want my Parasaur to be involved in the fight because the Parasaur is not going to be able to hold it down like I need it to. I think... Eh. What is that right there? I saw movement in the forest tree line. Ah, it's just another Parasaur or something. Never mind. I don't think that's anything that I want. Additionally, if we could find a scorpion, that would be great too. I mean, I'll train a scorpion as well. Either one works. A scorpion or a raptor. I will take either or. Not a big deal to me. I probably should have brought the other dinosaurs back with me or at least parked them in a slightly safer spot. There's a raptor right there and a carnotaur. Two carnotaurs. Yikes. Now that's what I call a sticky situation. Alright, well how do I... I think if we tail it for a little while and just try to figure out the most advantageous spot to fling a rock at it. It looks like it gets killed in like three or four hits. So if we could put like five or... Oh, there's two of them. Okay, so that's where this becomes especially dangerous as well. I don't think I can deal with multiples. Let's flick this around real fast. They aggro from like insanely far away. So... Uh, let me go back down the beach real fast. I'm going to bring the Triforce with me real quick. Put them on aggressive in case I need to defend myself. I prefer one of the red raptors. I like the color better on the red ones. But I'll take any color that I can get at this point. Because I think that would represent like the first major advancement in our team up the tech tree. Go up the side of this hill right here because that's where I've got them parked. It's like my personal little dino parking station. Once we get them back, we'll head back on out. Oh yeah, I should fill up my canteen while I'm right here too. Use that and actually I'd like to make another one if I can. There we go. We'll make two more and I'll fill both of those up as well because I always feel like I'm out of water. So there's one. There's two. We're actually a considerable ways away from level 17. And while I like the leveling system in this game, I kind of wish you could just like craft stuff as you went along. I don't know. It would accelerate the process. I like the fact that you keep your recipes, so at least that's something. Go back up the hill real quick. I love how this thing can get all terrain for me. It's like one of my favorite features about it. You guys get with me real fast. I'll give you a little whistle. We'll head back down the hill this way. See if we can find ourselves a raptor. If we can, fantastic. If we can't, well, that's going to be the course of the episode. But that's all that I want to do. And I think the thrill is slightly wrapped up in the hunt. And so I figured I'd bring you all along for it. I was going to cut this up into little bits and pieces or whatever, but... Nothing over there, just a bunch of parasaurs. Nothing over here, just a bunch of dilophodons. A couple of dilophodons, I don't know if that qualifies as a bunch. I'm going to kill them off real fast, just in case I have to pull something back and over to here. Just keep this nice and sort of safe. Oh, we're blinded. I would like to not be blinded any longer. There's one down. Oh. Got problems over here. See if I can help out and tank for a second. Yep, that's right, me. Come on, you big turtly bastard. That's right, follow me around. Under no circumstances should you jump in on any of this. Well, we may lose one of our critters over here because they are mate boosted. So unfortunately, let me break out an arrow real fast. Okay, so they got that one. This one's already wounded, I think. There it is. Very, very nice. Very, very nice, ladies and gents. Okay. Let's take care of business and a post-fight poop. Sometimes you got to have a post-fight poop. It is what it is. Let me go ahead and chop all these up real fast because I don't fancy the thought of wasting it. We're a little bit wounded, so I should probably get some food inside of me, make that go a little bit better. That got out of control. I didn't realize they were going to aggro the turtle. I saw it happening. As he hit the Dilophodon, I was like, no! And then he accidentally slapped the turtle. I don't know. Does that sound like a euphemism? Slapping the turtle? I gotta go home and slap the turtle real fast before work. Sounds like something. Anyways, we'll use a couple of these. That'll get our health back up a little bit faster. But you see what I mean? Like, when our stuff is broken, we definitely... 
I think we're gonna need a little bit more cover provided by whatever we can create, like the hide armor or something like that. If we can make some better armor, I think we might be in really, really good shape when it comes to fighting with a raptor. But for right now, it just makes me nervous. It just makes me real nervous. How beat up are you right now? How you feeling? You're good? Alright, that's all that I needed to know. I don't know much, but I know I love you, Pancake. And let it be all I need to know. Everybody loves Pancake. Who doesn't love Pancake? Pancake is like the rock star of this series. If Pancake dies, I will write a huge eulogy or a melogy or a herlogy or whatever we want it to be. I think the raptors, if I'm right, they'll come down this way around the side of the beach because they try not to go into the water. But if they get turned around properly, we should be like in a really, really, really savage spot to jump them and take them out. So I'm going to try it out for right now. There's a bunch of turtles down here we can hunt anyways just in case that gets boring. I don't want to fight multiples. We can't find any scorpions down in here. That's okay because I know another spot where we can find scorpions. Not a big deal. We can run down the scorpion. If not in this episode, then in the next one. I'm going to be careful about going out this way because we know that they're here. Actually, the fact that the parasaurs aren't moving around much really sort of helps me know. Hey, Triforce, you want to get over here and like handle this? There you go. Get on him. There it is. A level 17 Dilophosaur taken out. Good. So I'm going to leave you guys down the beach. Just hang out here. Ooh, with the killing blow over here. Y'all are nasty. You know that? Vicious. Absolutely nasty and vicious. Hopefully that's not too close to the water. I know every now and again a Megalodon gets kind of like vertical and gets up out of the water. Our house is right there, by the way. So we're not that far out of the way. If we die, we should be able to come back and recover our stuff. Whether or not it's a Carnotaur... Or a raptor that gets us. We should be alright. Carnotaur right there. The raptors look like they went the opposite direction down the beach. Pick that up so that later on I can make some fertilizer out of it. See, this kind of puts me in an awkward situation where... Oh, a scorpion! Hey! I'd like the raptor better. Oh, this positioning is so awkward because I have to risk my death in order to make this happen. Are there any Megalodons in the water? Yes, there indeed are, and in fact, quite close. Okay, so never mind. We gotta go up and around. Up and around is looking like the name of the game for right now because we can't deal with the Carnotaur just yet. But there's two of the things that I wanted to capture in there. And it's just too juicy of a honey pot not to stick my hand into, so we're getting honey potted right now. If I die, oh well, not a big deal. Most of the stuff that I have on me is recoverable anyways. If we stay within the tree line, it should provide us with a reasonable amount of protection from the Carnotaur. He should have a lot of problems getting through some of these shorter tree distances right here. And so if we can keep him from coming in here, we should be alright. The Raptors, on the other hand, not so sure about, but... There's a first try for everything, so I guess we'll... See what we can accomplish here. I would love to actually get him a couple times before he gets to me or she gets to me. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I mean, I'm trying it. Yeah, I figured that's what was going to happen. See, they're so rough. Like, they're really, really difficult to fight. That's the problem that I run into with those is that realistically, they are a nasty foe. That's why I left my animals behind, but like... I don't know how I'm going to knock that out. Like, I tried it with the bow already, so before somebody in the comments is like, you got to take the bow, they fixed that, I think. But anyways, I... I tried that already off camera. It did not work out so great. It worked out pretty poorly. All of the things that I thought would work did not work. So anyways, I tried the bow trick already. It did not knock it out. It kind of was... Well, I mean... It's really hard to tell. It, I hit him probably a good 10, 15 times. It's okay to die. I don't mind that. We can still cross the river over here, and I think I can get my stuff back, too. I don't know exactly where I died. I don't want that Dilophodon on me, though. I prefer if that didn't happen. It would be great if that could avoid happening. I do wish that there was kind of like a neutral way you could tame things. So, for example, if they got knocked out by another dinosaur or something like that, you could just, like, stumble across them and be like, Hooray! But I understand why that doesn't exist. I should have just gone after the scorpion. I put a lot of rocks on that thing. I put probably a good eh, seven or eight rocks into him. And given the amount of HP they show when the Triforce is on him, I don't know. It's sketchy. It's real sketchy. I don't know how far to the forest I was right there. Could have been that far. 
Crossing the water right here is a bad plan. God, it's like the center of Carnivore Island over there. There are so many carnivores right there. God. You see the Megalodon right there. And it will aggro us at this distance, or at least it'll come over to investigate. So our best way to do this... Uh, there's two ways to do it. We can either YOLO it, or we can just like... We've, we're already dead, so... And our backpack despawns in like two minutes. I think I'm going to make for shallows, though, or something like that. And then we'll cut back around through the forest, maybe. I don't know. There's another Carnotaur over there. Apparently, they're breeding. They're becoming more numerous. Oh, shit. We're about to get Megalodoned. It just Megalodoned on me that we might not make it. The plan is failing. Oh, my God. That is horrifying. And watch. Right into the mouth of a Carnotaur or a Raptor right now. Right into the mouth of a thing that I don't want to... Ah! No. No. Fight with the Megalodon. Yes, fight with the Megalodon. You want to fight with a Megalodon here? Or are you both going to only aggro me? That's right. Go back to shore, you mook. That's what you get. Can't chase me down. I'm too slippery. Too slippery and too sly. You don't want none. I mean, he's probably still going to come back around. And I will point out that I am very much filling the shallows full of, like, nasty predators that all want to eat me. Hey. Eat him first. Eat him first. Eat him first, not me. Eat him first, not me. Did he run out of stamina? Is he drowning? Oh, dude. We may have just done this. What game have you ever played where you get to see a shark fight a raptor? So gangster. So gangster. No. Level 1 raptor. Now is not the time. I am punching you. You will fall down. If you punched a raptor to death, you'd kind of be a badass. All right, I'll, finish this. I'll figure this out in a minute. That's enough deaths for right now. I'll come back once I've recovered my stuff. All right, so since that plan didn't work out, I guess what we need to do... I couldn't get my stuff back either, unfortunately. There's so many megalodons and raptors covering that beach over there right now that eventually I had to go all the way around the horn and cut through the island. It just took too long. I don't think I could get back there in time. We can go take a look if everybody wants to. But for right now, I think the best plan is to go after that green crate right there. I don't have a go bag or anything like that. If you don't know what a go bag is, essentially it's like one of those things that you have just in case you need to bug out or get yourself like nice and safe after like something goes really... Will you get the hell out of the way? Jesus. These damn parasaurs. Well, don't run him down. Here, just come back with me. Here. Just don't run him down. I wanted him out of the way though. Here, come back to me. Hey. Hey, break off the pursuit. Give up on your dreams. It's okay. You're never going to catch him. He's too far out, and there's, like, raptors and shit over here. No. Get back over here. We have a scorpion, and it's in the darkness. We need to go back this way towards the big green light. Yes. Good dinosaur. Go to green light now. I don't know. Sometimes you got to explain it to him stupid mode style because, damn, these dinosaurs can be dumb. This green thing over here, though, it's our best chance at basically repopulating our stuff and getting as much stuff back as we can after that loss, so... Luckily, it spawned right in front of us, so let's go for that. We'll see what we get out of a green one. We should be able to loot it right now at level 15 without any problems. I'm also probably going to kill off a couple of turtles or whatever down and in here to get our food supply back up. The scorpion's down on the beach, so maybe in the next episode we'll be able to get him. Supply crate only has two large storage boxes in it. Wow. That's a pretty terrible actual crate. Hmm. So, that leaves us pretty much in the dark right now. My plan would be to probably... I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Here, you just do something like this. Help me out a little bit. Give me some thatch, and if you can get me some wood, that'd be great too. I don't know, I'm pushing trees over with the power of dinosaurs. I bet that would be... Isn't that what he did in the storyline of dinosaurs? Didn't he push trees over? That was like his job as like a T-Rex or whatever. He's like pushed trees over or something like that. I remember him bitching about it. There we go. So we got that. There's got to be some rocks around here too. If I play my cards right... Oh, there's another one over there. There's another one over there. Okay, I can't see worth anything right now, but I think I had some stuff on the dino as well. There it is. Let's get this started up real fast. And then I can't see worth anything. 
Ah, we need flint for a torch. Damn. You know, it would just figure. I'm walking around in the darkness waiting to get my ass bit off by some giant creature I can't even see. It would figure. This is my life, everybody. This is my life on the tubes. Did I do something you guys are incapable of following along with? Well, shit. Until our visibility goes up, this is actually a pretty dangerous endeavor. And... We might be able to find rocks or something useful down by the shore. Yes, I hear you, Dodo. I would love to murder you right now and take your delicious hides. Unfortunately... I'm gonna need just a minute before that becomes a strategy worth any merit. You are freezing. You should find something, something, something. Oh, yeah. You guys don't come in the water. You're just turning a snack into a meal right now for a Megalodon, and I don't need that. Here, come back this way. Yep, we're going snack into full, like, five-course meal right now. Here, go down in there. You should have a little bit of light. Oh, good. I pooped. That makes me feel better. That always makes me feel better. We need right now is flint or anything else that can work for us. I don't know if this big rock over here is going to be harvestable. Yeah, it is not. Kind of a disappointment. This one is also not harvestable. Damn. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, so we finally have daylight. I managed to hunt and kill a couple things in here, and by me, I mean the Triforce managed to hunt and kill a couple of things up in here. We still don't have any flint or any of the stuff we need in order to make, like, the really, really good shit. But as of right now, we actually only need fibers. That's actually not too terrible. I could make that happen for the slingshot. And then once we have that, we could actually go after one of these scorpions and just sort of, like, see what occurs for us. The scorpion, in case you didn't know, it's back down the beach. We can actually take care of that in just a second. We ended up dying a little bit ago in case you, like, came in the middle of the video. I don't know. If I don't bring it up, somebody always comes in in the middle of the video, and then they don't know what's going on. And so, I gotta bring it up. Otherwise, people just don't know. Alright, so a little bit of food, a little bit of just about anything would be helpful right now. Got ourselves a primitive slingshot, which is better than having nothing. At least it means that I can target mobs now. And so if we go, oh, I don't know, let's jump back on Pancake real fast, and let's see if we can locate one of these scorpions. If we can find the scorpion, I think I have the stuff on me anyways to make this happen. Let's chill for just a second, eat a couple berries to make my tummy stop being grumbly, and then off this way, we should be able to get one, I think. So let's have a look. There's a bunch of megalodons. Don't go out there. Those rocks right there that we were standing on just like 10 minutes ago, there's like a million megalodons out there. I don't know if they smell me in the air or what it is, but I told you. I don't want it to become like a full force, like a full course feast for whatever's out there. All my random little dinos running along. I could have them kill some dodos too. That might help out, but let's see if this scorpion made it very far. I know there's a carnotaur over here. And it has been all night, so there is the possibility that it moved on or something killed it. That's the oh no, there it is right there. Okay, so I would say that you cats should stay over here. We're gonna get this scorpion, damn it. Alright, so you guys come over here. Nope, keep coming. Keep coming. I believe in each and every one of you, and if any of you interrupt or intervene in this fight. I'm going to be very upset with you, because we should be alright here. Anybody need to level up? Anybody need to level up? It's like asking kids when they need to use the bathroom. Just making sure. Just making sure. So how much spoiled meat do you guys have? Just wondering. You have two spoiled meat. I think a lot of it must have gone bad or something. You have two spoiled meat. That's what we need in order to train, by the way. If you're wondering. You have two spoiled meat right there. And so we've got a little bit of time. I wonder how much of this is going to go bad, and if we're going to have the time to get it to go bad before we go any further. Let me take some of the meat off these guys, and in fact, what I may do is I may wait this out just to make sure that we have enough rotted meat. And then, why is that taking 33 minutes? That's a weirdly huge amount of time for that to take. 
You know what? I decided I'm just gonna bean this guy right now because I wanted to knock him out before the end of the episode. And I feel like it's probably better than just like leaving with a cliffhanger and not accomplishing anything. So anyways, I'm gonna take this scorpion out and essentially all that we're gonna do here is we're gonna knock him out real quick. Come on. There we go. He's now out. And we're gonna put some of our meat on him. There it is. We got that spoiled meat. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Sources said like an hour. So I think what I may do is just forage around for a little bit until I have the things that I need, like the narco berries and whatnot. And we'll come back once this has all been taken care of and it's not a big deal. So anyways, my name is Watercat. I will see you all later. This is Ark Survival Evolved. Hi do, everybody.